Hi Thai everyone, my name is Crystal and today I'm going to be talking about Chome So or long life herb or as I used to like to call it, long life grass. <laughs> If you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you to my Hai Tai channel. My name is Crystal Burnett. I live in Okinawa, Japan, not far from Hacksaw Ridge, if you've ever heard of the famous Hacksaw Ridge. In my channel, I will be talking about Okinawan health and longevity, living right next to the longest living people on the planet, the Okinawans. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about Okinawan health and longevity and some more secrets, tips, and all that good stuff, please subscribe, hit the notification button, all that YouTube-y things that people say. So, let's What if I told you there was a plant that would expand your lifespan by one day every time you ate one stalk? So you eat like 10 stalks and your lifespan gets expanded by 10 days. Is that a thing? I don't know. We cannot test it. But in Okinawan culture, folklore, whatever you want to call it, someone made the phrase, eat one stalk and your life will be expanded by one day. What is the stalk that is chome so or long life grass if you directly translate it or uh, the word that's been kind of brought up by Bare Minerals, a makeup company, Long Life Herb. The Okinawan word for chomeso is sakuna, not sakura. Sakura with an R is cherry blossoms. It is sakuna with an N. What does chomeso mean? Why am I saying it expands your lifespan by a day? Long life grass, what is all, what is all this translation? So, we've got kanji, we've got Japanese characters. Cho is long, and then me is life, inochi in Japanese, and so or kusa is grass. So directly translated to long life grass. But that kind of sounds weird because we're not cows, we don't eat grass from the ground. So bare minerals, not me, I like to call it long life grass, but bare minerals is the one who gave it the name long life herb when they came to visit. I mean, I'm sure maybe some other English speakers also gave it that name. But they're kind of bringing the word long life herb back up. I keep speaking about bare minerals because I was, I was not the discoverer of this plant, but I was one of the first people to study this plant. Um, I, when I came to the University of Ryukyu's, I chose this plant to research because there was no info on it in English. There was a bit of info in Japanese and some in Chinese, but there was no info on it in English, in America, in England, in Australia, in any of these countries. So I thought, this is crazy, this is a cool plant, I'm gonna research it. And then after I graduated, the company Bare Minerals and also the Japanese company Shiseido started using it in their products. So you might see more chomeso or long life herb in the future. The official name of chomeso in Japanese is Botanbofu. Uh, it's also called Chomigusa in the outlying um, islands like Miyako. Um, a lot of the islanders and all the little islands have their own name for the plant, but it is part of Okinawan culture. It used to be eaten quite often. It is considered a weed. It grows everywhere. Let me show you chomeso. I'm not going to go to the store and buy some. Since I live in Okinawa, I can easily show you chomeso by going outside with my scissors, cutting some and bringing it back. How long am I going to walk outside? I'm going to walk out 10 seconds and it's going to be right there on the road. out of my apartment. Uh, let me see the closest chomeso I could find and what do you know it's I've been walking for like 10 seconds and there's a whole bunch of beautiful beautifully grown chomeso right here on the side of the street. Okay so here it is. Since I cut it it's been a little while. Um, it's been like a few hours or so before I came back to take this video. Um, so it's a little drippy. All right so take a look at this pretty ordinary looking plant. If you walk past it, you probably wouldn't even pay attention to it. I mean, I think it's beautiful and very cute, but this is my area of expertise, so of course I love it. It always has the stalk and then three little stalks coming out, branches, and branches into three leaves, and those leaves branch into another three, and then the, each leaf goes into three. So. This is a plant of threes. Three, three, three. So what does chomeso smell like? I can't explain it. You have to experience 
it. Uh, you have to taste it yourself, break it up yourself, smell it. It can't really, it has a very distinct taste and smell of its own. Um, it's pretty strong, so it used to be used in like smelly fish, 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 I keep saying fish, it's like smelly, strong smelling dishes because uh, when you put a strong smelling plant, it kind of cancels out or goes well with another like a really strong smelling fish. So chome is always used in um, fish dishes mostly. You can also find it in miso soup or soups in general, or like a garnish to sushi or cut up on top of salad. But chomeso is not eaten um, as much anymore. Uh, the Okinawan longevity is still, it should be preserved, but it is dying off. But hey, that's why I started the Hai Tai channel, is to teach people about Okinawan longevity before it disappears and succumbs to westernized culture. So when I see chomiso in food, when I'm out and about at restaurants, I get super excited because it's super rare. But I, like I said, it's a weed, so it's growing everywhere. Like you can find it on the streets, you can find it behind houses. It's strongest by the ocean. Um, chomiso is found by the in the rocks by the ocean, and it gets the most minerals and vitamins when it's grown by the ocean. It likes to be tortured it likes to be it likes to grow in very tough environments so when waves and salt and things are like hitting it chomiso grows even stronger and then it grows even gets more minerals and vitamins but that doesn't mean that the chomiso for um cultivated in farms is not full of vitamins and minerals farmer okinawan farmers have found out or know how to grow chomiso in order to have it contain a lot of vitamins and minerals but it doesn't even have to be farmed close you don't have to like watch it every, I mean you have to watch it it's easy to grow I'm saying it's easy to grow because like I said it's a weed it's it's everywhere it's on the side of the street like this thing you plant it somewhere and it'll grow cannot plant it by seed though um, I learned it's really hard to grow by the seed you need to propagate by breaking it breaking up an, an existing stock and then putting it in the dirt so I mean when was the first show me so made I don't know I like to call chomiso chomiso and not long life herb. Um, I will use long life herb when I'm writing about it um, just for the sake of people being able to find it. But like the words geisha and samurai, I think chomiso can just stay as it is because I think it's a cute name and it's not hard to pronounce. If you ever find chomiso in your products, um, I'm one of the very few people that even sell chomiso products. But like I said in the beginning of the video, Bare Minerals uses chomiso in their makeup line called Skin Longevity. Skin Jebity? Skin something like that. Um, I need to go back and look that up. But um, the chomiso is probably grown on Yonaguni Island. Yonaguni Island is a small, small island off the shore, like <laughs> a little bit away from mainland Okinawa, which is already an island of itself, just Okinawa's full of islands. What are the health benefits of chomiso? Why do I keep talking about it? Why did you even study it? It has been known in culture, Okinawan culture and um, Taiwanese culture, Chinese culture, to be helpful for colds, coughs, fevers, just general sickness. Um, it was consumed for its health benefits. It can be found in uh, traditional Okinawan medicine, tra Japanese medicine, kampo, or it can be found in traditional Chinese medicine. Um, and in Taiwan, like I said, it's been researched in Taiwan and China, as well as Japan. But chomiso did originate from the Yaima Islands. The Yaima Islands are Okinawa. So it is a Okinawan plant. Japanese people don't know this plant. Half the Okinawans I meet do not know this plant. And I can say that I can say that with with all the confidence in in my heart because every time I meet an Okinawan people, a person, I've met a lot of Okinawan people. I always say, "Hi, I want you to need to receive DQs. I I specialized in chomeso." And then I look at them and they go, "What is that?" And I say, "It's an Okinawan plant. Are you sure you don't know what it is? It's also known as botanbofu or sakuna or chomigusa." I give all the names and they're like, "I have no idea what you're talking about." And I'm like, kind of disappointed my heart hurts because like half the Okinawa people don't even know this plant but alas that's because the culture is kind of fading away so besides the um like colds and coughs and fevers and kind of the the uses uh the reasons that people use chomiso back in the day it is also now being researched in labs um in recent years for its other benefits 
such as being antioxidant, anti-platelet, anti-cancer, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but it is being researched, I mean, when it's an antioxidant, antioxidant I guess you can also say it's anti-cancer. The biggest reason I chose to study and specialize in Chomei So is when I said in my intro video, the reason I came to Okinawa um, is to is because I was surprised about the obesity rates of Japan and overall as a country compared to America. Uh, Japanese people are much skinnier than Americans, even as they age, and I thought that was fascinating. So that's why I came to Okinawa is to learn about health and really kind of understand why people don't gain weight or do not the obesity rates are lower here. So in Chomiso, there's a compound called Terixin, amongst many, many other compounds that prevent the formation of fat cells. But I'm not saying like if you eat a ton of Chomiso, you're going to not gain weight. That's not how it works. But Chomiso may be a key to preventing obesity or it can play a small part in an overall role of preventing obesity. And Okinawan longevity secrets and the whole Okay, like Okinawan longevity methods and way of life, um, Okinawan health, that obviously is going to prevent prevent obesity. So it is a key, one tiny key player in the whole longevity life. <laughs> I don't even know how you'd say that. Just it's 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 got something. And researchers continue to research it today. There are new papers being published every other month or so. Some of them only in Japanese, but some in English and. I like to follow up with them and hopefully I can, with permission, put them on my website and share them with people. I found a cool little graph um, made by Shiseido, a big Japanese makeup company that uses Chomeso in their products. Uh, they claim, and I agree with, is that Chomeso has five times more fiber than cabbage, six times more iron than prunes, 1.6 times more vitamin A than pumpkin and four times more calcium than milk and it also contains a good amount of vitamin B6, riboflavin, B2, beta carotene, and magnesium as well as having lots of poly poly and it also has plenty of polyphenols. Now I said the name bare minimals multiple times in this video um, sounds like I'm happy they are promoting long life herb or chome so which I am but looking at their skin care line let me see here skin longevity trademarked skin longevity using um, long life herb let's see here California poppy other key ingredients um, I'm sure the skin line skincare line um, is very nice it's got a lot of reviews um, people like it but chome so has not been researched for its properties when applied directly to the skin. Um, Chomiso is much more beneficial when you eat it. Um, I'm sure their, product, their products work because of the other ingredients in it, but I'm a little doubtful about Chomiso being one of the keys to making their product great when it's just applied to the skin. Not saying you should eat the product, obviously not. But I think there needs to be a lot more research um, when applying Chomiso to the skin. Okinawans didn't apply it to their skin. So I'm wondering if it's like a marketing gimmick. Anyway, maybe we'll make this another video. But I think it's wonderful that they are promoting Long Life Herb. Um, but there were a lot of problems in their marketing plan, their videos, their pictures, their statements about Okinawa, which I'm going to go over in another video because I was kind of disappointed. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Bare Minerals, if you ever watch this, please use me in your marketing plans because I can go down the street and cut this off of some plants. Um, no one will care because no one's taking care of the street plants out there. Um, no one owns it except, the, I don't know, the city. Um, if, if I can't just go cut out by the street, I'll go to the farmer's market. It's also sold at the farmer's market. I can go to the farmers. I know farmers who make it. Speaking of that, looking behind me, I know the people that can that make chomiso tea and chomiso powder. Let's take a look at that. So what do we have here? This says sakunacha. Sakunacha and below it says botanbofu or chomiso. Chomiso is a trademark name, I think, so you have to have permission to use it. So when you don't have permission to use it, you can use sakuna. Anyone can use the word sakuna. So this is sakuna tea, chomiso tea. Um, it is made by a manufacturer that I know here in Naha City. They're one, I think, I haven't found anyone else, anyone else who makes chomiso tea. 
Um, I asked some of my other manufacturers that I know and they said that they couldn't really sell it way, 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 way back in the day. Which makes sense because no one really knew Chome so way, way back in the day. So, and then they stopped making it and now it's kind of like getting attention. So I told them they should make Chome so tea, but we'll see. pulverized. This is the tea. Let's boil it and try it. And this. Taking this and turning it into chomeso powder. And you can see in the picture that they put chomeso in soup and then put croutons in the soup. Here's bread that's slightly green because they put it in the bread. These are muffins that are kind of purple and they put it in the muffins as well. So it's like a green pulverized powder, pretty much just like the tea pulverized powder. That is how um, it is suggested to consume chomiso now because you cannot get raw chomiso anyway. And, and if you do, it's got quite a strong taste. It's not like the greatest tasting play in the world, um, but you don't take it for its taste. You take it for its health benefits. Let me show you this. Do I need scissors for this? Nope. again in my face. Let's take a look at this beauty. Yep, pretty much just green powder, not too much to show. It's very fine, but the reason it's fine is so that you could add it to breads and soups and teas or whatever you want to add it to. Um, it doesn't dissolve completely because it still, it doesn't have any additives. Um, it's just chomi so by itself, but it's a great additive. A bit of vitamins and minerals. Personally, I think chomiso would go pretty well with matcha. It already looks like matcha. Um, it's got a distinct taste. Really, like a matcha chomiso blended mix drink would be pretty cool. I'm gonna try that. Let's put chomiso in here. I'm gonna boil in water. Um, you need to steep chomiso for a little while to really get the taste and everything out. Um, these, big, these bags are pretty big. Can make a whole pot. color. It smells like chomiso. Chomiso is part of the parsley family, um, so I guess you could say it smells like it's from the parsley family. Here we go. All right, I found the words to describe this tea because I'm not very, I've never taste tested a tea and explained it to someone before. Vegetal. The reason I say vegetable is Vegetal, vegetal, green or, herba or herbaceous flavors often attributed to green tea. So, like I said, chomiso is actually kind of similar to green tea or matcha. Um, I think they, if they were blended together, they'd make, actually make a pretty cool like new tea drink. Totally gonna try that next time. So vegetal is one of the words to describe this. It's actually, yeah, very similar to green tea if you've ever had green tea. It's a little more, looking at this list of tea describing words. Um, Savory, which is also a word reserved for green teas. Uh, nutty and toasty is another one for pan fried green teas. Yeah, green teas. So anything that describes a green tea is also chomiso, but it doesn't taste exactly like green tea. Um, it's a little, I say, nuttier, darker, more herbal, <laughs> but it's similar to green tea. One last thing, also in products that I sell, is this. I will go over in another video, but chomiso is also found in this. This is a herbal candy, not really lozenges, it's actually just candy, but um, 
It's got 38 herbs in it, and one of those herbs is chomiso. So there are a lot of products in Okinawa that have chomiso in it. Um, a lot of Okinawans that know about the health and the importance of consuming Okinawan herbs and its contribution to longevity try to put chomiso in a lot of products. The only problem is that a lot of people are forgetting what chomiso is. The knowledge is not passed down to the next generation. Um, only recently, um, like Shiseido and Bare Minerals are kind of bringing chomiso back into a spotlight. Um, and new research is being produced so more people will hopefully know about it and it's effects on the body. But for now, I will be selling products um, with chomiso in it and supporting chomiso every step of the way because it is my expertise and I love it and it's an adorable plant and it should be, if I were if I were an herb, I would be chomiso. Our eyes, our eyes, our eyes, my eyes and chomiso are the same color. So thank you for watching my video today about chomiso or long life herb. Thank you for watching till the end. Please subscribe and hit the notification button, notification button and all the other things that YouTubers say. I would love to spread knowledge about Okinawan herbs and longevity. In my future videos connected to this video, I'm going to go over everything that is wrong with Bare Minerals marketing ploy to show off Chomiso in their new, well maybe not so new anymore, skincare line, Skin Longevity. So. Please look forward to that video and more to come. Thank you for watching. Bye!